think we're on something big. Look at the bubbles. What the heck? Looks like a bag or something down there. We're gonna take a look and see what that is. It's never a good sign. So hopefully there's not a body in there. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Influencer guys. Today we are going to be doing some magnet fishing. We're gonna be doing something a lot different than we have done in the past. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. So about two weeks ago, I had an e-bike sent to me from a company named Hay Bikes. The model they sent me was the Ranger S. This bike is equipped with a 750 watt electric motor. It gets around 55 miles per charge and a top speed of 28 miles per hour with a charge time of three to four hours. This bike is fully equipped with front and rear turn signals. My favorite feature about this bike is that the handlebars fold down and the frame folds in half with a flip of a switch. So it makes it easy and compact to take on any adventure. Another awesome feature when riding at night, you never have to worry about not being seen with one of the brightest LED headlights on the market. And when it comes to stopping, you can have peace of mind that this bike will stop on a dime with their highly engineered disc brakes. One more cool feature is that this bike is provided with pedal assist. There are five stages, one being the slowest, five being the fastest. You can learn all about the pedal assist on the Hay Bike app. One more cool feature is the huge LCD screen that allows you to see your speed, your distance, and your battery life. The battery is located in the center of the bike's frame. It sits tight and not bulky like a lot of cheap e-bikes that you may see on Amazon or any other website. The charge port is located at the bottom of the bike's frame, so charging is pretty simple. The battery can be removed with just a turn of a switch. For $1,300, this bike is a steal. E-bikes with this much technology will normally cost two to $3,000. So for $1,300, this bike is a bargain that will bring you years of enjoyment for you and your family. All right, everybody. So let's take the e-bike out. And man, the acceleration on this thing is nice. We're already doing 20 miles per hour, which is really nice. Fast enough for me, probably fast enough for you. All right, we're getting closer to our destination. We have to drive through this park real quick. Oh, do not enter. Let's drive through this grass. It's bumpy through here, but I can barely feel that thanks to these shocks. Now that we're back on the trail. This is gravel too, and this thing is handling it very well. Alright guys, so we're almost there. We just turned on this gravel road and driving this bike on gravel is a lot different than driving on pavement. But still, it's really a smooth uh, ride actually. I'm like, I can't believe how smooth this is. Like we're doing 23 miles an hour right now. And it is just, I mean, we're just getting it on this gravel road. No shakiness or anything. All right guys, we just got to our area. This place looks juicy. All right guys, so let's take a look at this spot. I do see some trash, see some worm casings. I see a bag right there. That's never a good sign. Let's hope there's not a body or something in there. Just watch out for snakes while we go down here. What the heck is in this bag? Oh, looks like someone just threw some old uh, clippings and stuff away. If I didn't have a, my bike with me, if I had a truck or something, we could totally take this with us. Unfortunately, we cannot. All right, guys, let's grab the magnet. All right, so we don't really have a way to tie the rope up to me, so we're just going to tie it to the ankle real well. All right, it's nice and secure. All right, so we just tossed the magnet over there. We're going to start right there and move our way forward that way. Kind of cover this whole area, see what we can find today. So far, I'm not really getting any clicks. Oh, whoa, we got something big. Oh, oh, I bet it was a piece of rebar. Let's just pull it up. Oh, looks like we got a fishing lure. Heck <laughs> yeah, not bad for our first find today. We just got a fishing lure. And oh, we got a catfish bell. Oh, catfish bell. All right, we're probably gonna find a lot of stuff, fishing stuff here. People fish here all the time. All right, every time I go that over that area, I get like a click. I'm pretty sure it's rebar. Feels like there's something on the magnet. And what is this? <laughs> All right, maybe that's what I was stuck to. What the heck? Yeah, I have no clue what that is. Some random piece of metal. <laughs> All right, let's pull it up. And we have an empty magnet. Oh no, we got some more fishing stuff. Look, we got an old fishing hook. Pretty clean too, got a little leaf in it. That's a good idea to get out of the water. 
All right, I think we got something kind of heavy actually. Feels like rebar maybe. Oh, it's a little heavier than rebar and what the heck. Hey, we got a pink flag. Oh, we got a piston. No way. <laughs> we got a car piston. Look at that. No freaking way. Was not expecting that. And we got like some type of marker flag, I'm guessing. <laughs> what? We got a car piston? Nice. All right. So I think we have another little click. Let's take a look. Oh, we do. Thought I had more weight in that. Oh, check it out. We got an old shell casing. I don't know, that might be a 223. Some old pieces of rust. Like old cans or something. Not bad. All right, just got another click. Pretty close. Right right there, but it fell off. Pull up. And we got lots of mud. <laughs> Look at all that mud. All right, let's try. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we don't want to do that. That was almost my foot. Ugh. All right, let's toss under that tree. Not in the tree. <laughs> Was not trying to get that tree today. Hey, I feel like I got something. Oh, it fell off. I see the bubbles, whatever it was. Let's try, let's just pull it back up and we're gonna throw it back in that area. Uh, what did we get? We got some scrap metal. <laughs> oh, we got another shell. Man, a lot of, I'm pretty sure these are two, two, threes. Let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right, guys, so we're gonna cross this side of the gravel road. Toss on this side. I haven't really found anything over there. Uh, Toss it way out there. There we go. Oh, looks like we got a shotgun shell. Oh, we got a shotgun shell. Check it out. Not bad. Looks like an old Winchester 12 gauge. Most of these ain't magnetic. I'm surprised it's magnetic. So, pretty cool find. And what else do we have? Oh, a top to a can and some, uh, looks like some plastic or something. <laughs> I think we're on something big. Look at the bubbles. Maybe a tree branch, maybe. Let's take a look at it. Oh, we got something small at the bottom. Oh, we got a knife, nice. Look at this thing, heck yeah. Old knife too. I think that's a knife. Yeah, that's definitely a knife, look at that. Oh, heck yeah, we got our first knife today. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I was just getting ready to leave. The wood's all rotted, but I wish I could get it open or something, see it. It doesn't open, but hey, we're gonna add it to our collection of cool finds that we got. I haven't found anything cool yet. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We had a blast today out here cruising on this hay bike. We had so much fun. We drove over 30 some miles, like uphill, downhill. So make sure y'all check out hay bikes. Special thanks to them. I'll have links down in the description to this bike. This bike's only $1,300. And I gave it a beating. I drove it all over the place. We've been riding around for hours and it still has 50% charge. So make sure y'all check the links down in the description. I'll have a website link also to this bike. So y'all wanna make sure y'all check it out. A few other things I'm not really even sure if I mentioned about this bike is that it does have disc brakes. Uh, I believe these are 20, 20 inch tires with four inch, uh, these are four inches wide. Yeah. Yeah, they are 20 inch tires, they're 20 by four inches, which handled this gravel road really well. I wasn't really sure, this was the first time I took it on gravel road. It was super smooth, handled really well, unbelievable performance. It's kind of like riding a dirt bike, but electric, you know, and you're not going as fast. And like I said earlier in the app, you can adjust your app settings, everything in the app. So if you want kids to ride it, you don't want them to go very fast, set it to 10 miles an hour, set it to five miles an hour. Maybe your grandma wants to ride it, set it to five miles an hour. You know, set it to the speed that you want so nobody gets hurt. If you want to go 28 miles an hour, set it to the max speed 28 miles an hour and have a blast. But anyways, guys, make sure y'all check them out. Hey, bikes, one of the greatest bikes. Special thanks for them giving that to us. We're going to have awesome adventures. Places that we cannot take the car to, we'll be able to take this bike to. So we have awesome adventures planned out this summer. But until next time, see you on the next video.